Watch out. Well, I'm serious. Go figure. From a guy who spread the birth as a lie against Barack Obama, saying he wasn't born in America and he wasn't a U.S. citizen. Of course, here's what he thinks of black jobs. I love his phrase, black jobs. It tells a lot about the man and about his character. Folks, I know what a black job is. It's the Vice President of the United States. I know what a black job is. The first black president in America is Barack Obama. Yep. Yep. Kamala is not black. Asian and Indian, and her dad is Jamaican. What we're going to cook today okay. is an Indian recipe. Yes. Because yes. you are Indian. Yes. yes. Okay. And I don't know that everybody knows that, but I find that wherever I go and I see Indian people at the uh-huh. supermarket, uh-huh. on the street, everyone's like, you know, Kamala Harris is Indian, right? It's like our the thing we're so excited about. <laughs> to have you running for president. Yeah. So we're both Indian, yes. but actually we're both South Indian. Yes. Um, you look like the entire ha- one half of my family. Okay, thank you. You do. I've been telling people you we're do. related already, yeah. so this uh-huh. is perfect. It's basically <laughs> true. She's a very light-skinned person, or brown, slightly brown-skinned person, who went to an, an HBCU and so has a lot of other white folks, like Marky D or something. Half of the Backstreet Boys probably went to an HBCU. Why? Because it's cheaper. So did uh, Rachel Dallasale. She went to one too. Okay. Just because you went, uh, went out with Montel Jordan, let's say Montel Williams, that don't make you black. Okay? Okay? All right, Johnson. So no, that's not a black job. And the black jobs we were talking about are working class black jobs. And, and factually, Factually, those jobs have been declining ever since the 70s. And what coincides with that? Massive immigration. That's right. Because you don't want to pay people more money. I'm not saying you love immigrants. You use them as the same way you use blacks. But once blacks start getting in the unions, once the whites want to push back against us getting in the unions, you had to go somewhere to get jobs. And instead of paying white people more money, you brought in a new crop of people that would do work for less. It's really not that hard to figure out. Those are the black jobs. Well, we had this conversation before. But see, I got a problem with people who won't call this out. They'll call out Amber Rose. She says she's not black. You got President of the United States bragging about Kamala Harris. Black job. First ever person of color vice president. And he's bragging. I would go there on Barack Obama, but we all know he's half white. Half African. But my thing is, why is it okay to trash Amber Rose, but not okay to trash Biden? Amber Rose ain't elected to nothing. She up there promoting her stuff. It's on her forehead Why she there. Same way Kanye was there. Same reason Kanye was there. Promote their wares. We got Joe Biden trying to push back on a valid argument about the impact of immigration on black folks. It would be different if they were trying to mitigate it. The only thing I will say to adjust my message on this is that, yeah, I'm not saying they they favor immigrants. They just try to exploit them. It's something in it for them. America don't do nothing unless there's something in it for them. The fun in Israel because they want a strategic advantage in the Middle East. They're helping Ukraine because they want to stick it to Putin. It's not because they're benevolent and kind and saintly. That's not what the America does. So, for people to understand how we really don't give a damn. We, we're the country that sat back while Jews are being slaughtered in Nazi in Germany and was like, good luck, Germans. We sent, we turned ships around. Not our problem. These are facts. 
But now all of a sudden, now you think, oh, we're the benevolent country. We're looking out for them, the brown people. Man, wake me up when you when you realize what, what's happening. Wake up. They've been throwing white kids into the armed service and having them having them lose their arms and limbs and minds in Middle East for the last 30 years. All because they couldn't afford to go to college to get a better education. Most of them went into the armed services because there's nothing there in the Middle West, the Midwest to do because Biden and Clinton sent the jobs across seas on the NAFTA. But you know, hey, hey. So when you say, when we say we got more in common than we have, not in common, I'm talking about the exploitation. Is that at the end of the day, <laughs> the favorite color is green. When are we going to wake up and realize that, y'all? Arlene Chambers, black job is a real thing. Kamala and Obama are anomalies, not working class folks. Exactly. But you know what, Arlene? Give it up for Arlene. Here's the thing, man. And you know what? And I get that. You know what? I used to not know that. I, that sounds so bad. Once upon a time, I was the same way. I thought because I was in IT. So I came up, man, I don't have a college degree. I came up, I went to a community college for a little bit, took some classes. I learned, I had a friend who had a degree who was in the computers and I was out here struggling. And he held, he's like, look, man, computers. Like he kept telling me, computers, computers. So I took classes, I took courses, I read a lot. And he, like he told me, man, you got to do some on-the-job learning. <laughs> Say you know it, but don't really know it. Run in the server room and figure it out. Call me up if you need help. I had a mentor that helped me get through the first couple of years. And once I kind of got good and I was comfortable and I was working for these companies, and I was making really good money, more money than my dad ever made, it became normal. But it wasn't normal. What I was doing wasn't normal. It was meaning a lot of black folks are not in that position I was in. I would go places, there would be black people there telling me that. Like, where you, how you get in here? Okay, okay, bro, what's up, man? And I'm feeling all good about myself, not even truly letting it resonate that this is not common. Yes. I'm in D.C. In D.C., a lot of government contractors, a lot of government contract work, a lot of, a lot of folks work at the government contract level and can make good money per hour. It's not, that way, it's not that way all over the country, okay? So to the black people that were so upset and so offended that, that Trump said black jobs, I want you to recognize this is a big country, Okay? We're not judged by what the top 10% get to do. And I was not in the top 10%, but I was doing better than the middle. Okay? But it wasn't what I wanted to do. I wanted to do this. I wanted to write, but I couldn't afford to write because you don't make nothing writing unless you got friends. Unless you know people. The point of the matter is, guys, what I'm trying to say is, My cousins, my friends, they were good people. They deserve better than what they got. In the system, there was just so many slots, just so much. Most black people just weren't doing what I was doing. And instead of strutting around going, I got my degree, only 20 to 25% of black people get degrees, dumb dumb. How is it going to be common? That, you, that we are lawyers when I tell you 2% of male lawyers are black men. 2% of female lawyers are black women. Two. Two. And you're like, somebody will get on TikTok. I got a black job and I'm a real estate. I'm a got a black job and I'm an attorney. What about everybody else? <laughs> so, construction jobs. Warehouse, manufacturing jobs, jobs at plants, all types of jobs. 
Anyway, it's what it is what it is. Those that know, know. Those that don't know will continue to be herded by the Democratic Party like sheep and nothing will change. Hopefully, some people will listen. Realize it's not hate. It's not saying black people can't achieve. It's saying the opportunities, discrimination, and a whole bunch of other shit has been holding us back for a long time. And not for nothing, a lot of, a lot of white jobs left too. Just to slide that in there, just because I know it to be a fact. I know that to be a fact. Because corporations want the best bang for the pocket, best bang for the buck, the stretch the dollars. So that's what they do. And they'll hire someone else over you if they can pay them less, and they'll get the same job done. I mean, it's that's it, guys. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Arlene Chambers. I appreciate you for bringing that up. I'm glad to speak to it. I want to speak to it. I want people to know, and it's not selling out. No, it's not talking down to black people. No, it's being real. It's being real about the situation where we are. America's still very segregated. And America's still very classist and elitist. And just because you're doing good right now, think about all those people that aren't. It's like the people that said, hey, I saved all my school loans. There are millions and millions of people that didn't save. But all you know is you saved. So you're like, yeah! And I get it. I'm glad you saved too, baby. Just recognize game. 